Hey guys, today we've got ourselves this really cool pack to open up. I'm really excited to get into this. So this is the Digimon Illustration Competition Pack. And in it contains, I believe, eight cards of fan-drawn art that were printed into official cards. And these are all reprints of cards already in the game. They just have new art. And I have all the original cards here. I thought it'd be fun to kind of compare the original cards to the new ones and also compare the English version uh, quality of the cards to the Japanese version too. So let's just open it. I'm going to use scissors because I'm super lame. I like to collect um, the pack. So I'm going to just do that. All right, we're in. Cool, just some advertisement. All right, let's see what we got. Agumon. It's from the starter deck. So, he gives your uh, Digimon plus 1,000. Let's really take a look at these guys. Really nice. Some nice glossy. Almost feels like a glossy finish on them. So here's here they are. These do feel higher quality. Oh, they feel way better. Let's see if I can tell. I think this is the English? Yep, Japanese. Cool. So the build quality of these Japanese cards definitely feel better. All right, let's take a look at the rest of these things. So we've got Machine Dramon. Really cool. He's from Starter Deck 5. He says, when digivolving, up to two of your Digimon gain reboot until the end of your opponent's next turn. So yeah, he's all right. Artwork is awesome though. Shout out to, oh, sorry. <clears throat> There's the artist. Let's see here. Here's the artist. So shout out to all the artists. You guys did a great job. So next we have we have Devimon from his starter deck. And he's just a he's a blocker. And when attacking, lose two memory. Uh, he costs one to Digivolve, so uh, he was a pretty he was pretty sought after when he came out. I think he actually went up to like ten bucks when he first came out. It's a really nice card. There's the artist. So next we have, oh, here we go, Numamon. One of my favorites in this set. I love the artwork. There's regular Numamon. He just, he costs three to play and he's a one cost Digivolution. So it's just a really nice level four. It's a really good card, I really love that. There's the artist. Really nice. So here's Gammamon. Gammon from BT, BT8, yep. So it says your turn once per turn. When you play a red tamer, uh, draw one card. And his inheritance says, when attacking, if this Digimon has 6,000 DP or more, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. There's Mon, the Mon Mon up there. Giving him some fruit. And there's the artist. 61. That's an easy name to say. <laughs> so next we have Lilymon from EX1. So here's the original. So Lilymon says, your turn once per turn. When one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. 
So, you know, pretty good card. This art is solid. Shout out to the artists, as always. Terrier Mon. He's from EX2. So he says, your turn once per turn. Uh, when you play a green tamer, gain a memory. And his inheritance says, your turn once per turn. When an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 for the turn. It's a decent Digimon. Super cute. He's got a little little baby with him. Little, what is that, Coco Mon? This is fantastic art. Look at, oh, this is amazing. Oh, I love that. And last but not least, we have Patamon. Patamon's cute. And Patamon's from the... He's, he's the promo. So he says, on play, if you have one or fewer security cards, trigger recover one. So, pretty solid card. You can occasionally see this thing get splashed here and there. Really nice. Just eating apples. Really pretty card. It's the artist. Can't remember, did we show the artist for this one? Because this card's beautiful and you definitely deserve all the credit. So that is the illustration competition pack. It is a, an, it's an incredible idea. And Bandai definitely needs to do it again. And they need to open it up to the entire world. And not just certain regions. Because Digimon isn't just limited to certain areas. The entire world is full of incredible creative members of this community. And they all deserve to have their art shine. And they're just beautiful. I can't wait for these things to come out in English. I definitely want to play some of these in cards, like Numamon. I want to play some of this guy. Yamamon's fantastic too. I just love them. They're beautiful. All right, let's do the bonus pack. Today we've got a little bit of, th of a throwback. Got great legends. This takes me back. I remember pre-ordering for this set. Alright, so let's see. We got Grappleomon. Fugamon. Golemon. Labramon. Atomic Inferno. Leomon. Uh, Rag... Regan... Blah, blah. R Regalic... Kuzmon, that guy, <laughs> Dobermon, this is, a, this is a pretty good card. 7k level 4 was pretty good, way, especially back in the day. Infamous Lobomon, Lobomon for game. <laughs> this card is, will always be a favorite of mine. It was definitely a staple when I, when it came out for my Imperial deck. Just did you volunteer Tamer? Really nice. Oh, Air of the Dragons. It's a cool card. We've got Ty and Mock Gargomon. Really nice. And we also have this this memory marker that they used to have and index that has the entire card list that you could sc scratch out and check off whatever you got. I miss these. I know Japan is still getting them. I wish we were still getting them. But it is what it is. Got them all in the binder. And they look really great. Right beside the floral set. You guys should totally just find this on eBay and pick it up. I found it for 20 bucks Canadian. I think it's worth it. Even just a one, one of. Just to have it as a fun special little collection. They will come into English eventually. But I think having them in Japanese is really cool. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace!